Hello everybody of YouTube. Today, I'm going to be showing you a very, very interesting, um, Duquesne Micromatic 2 film strip projector. Now, as you can clearly see, this projector is in the case. And this is a multiple part video, so this is going to be part one of my Micromatic 2. So, just by looking at it here, you can tell that it is in a, uh, a uh, plastic case, pretty solid and well built. And I'm using my flashlight to kind of point out the stuff. So, in order to get the projector out of the case, you simply pull back on these tabs like this until the tab releases itself. So, we do that for both of them, just like this. Get this one here. There we go. So, once those two tabs are released like that, you simply take the case. And you just go like this until it comes off. And then the case can be pulled away from the projector. Just like that. So we'll set the case aside. So there's the case, and here is the projector itself. So to start, we'll go ahead and uh, unravel the power cord, and then I'll uh, show you uh, around a little bit on this thing. So just unravel the power cord. We'll set that down there. Okay, so to begin, let's turn the table a bit. Okay, what is the Duquesne Micromatic 2? The Duquesne Micromatic 2 is a film strip projector made by the company known as Duquesne. Now, the film strip projector is a piece of technology that was primarily used in schools and businesses uh, in the olden days to be able to show, uh, like, slides. It was kind of like a slide projector because you would have film that would go inside this top mechanism right here there's a little hole in there where you put your film and you feed your film through there and it passes through a, a window inside the uh, projector uh, and then it, through this lens here where there's a lamp back here that shows the image you know and projects it through here and then the film comes out the bottom right in there so to give you a better expl explanation on how it works, we'll go ahead and pull the cover off. To start do that, there's this little uh, flathead screw here, and you just unscrew it. So we'll just unscrew this screw. Takes a little while to uh, unscrew because it's a pretty long screw, but better I can do it here. Just unscrew this. There we go. So we'll set that aside. And now what you do is you pull the cover off. See if I can do this with one hand. There we go. And as you can see, this cover is all metal. And they complete the out of metal. Beautiful design quality. Set that down there. And here's the inner workings. As you can clearly see, it says disconnect supply cord before changing lamp. Because it's obviously 120 volts. Don't want to get shocked. Anyway, the inside, if you pull back this little tab here, you can see the lamp mechanism. You have this lamp here, which is basically a halogen bulb, which shines through here to the mirror. Now, this is the actual inner workings of how it works. So, you have this um, little lens here, which when it's in a normal position, it's the, the bulb is going to be shining the light through here, and then... It's, and then Right here is actually where the film would be. And this little window here is where the pi picture would go through. Right there. And then it comes out this side. And then goes out of the lens. Uh, right here on the other side. And then goes out to your wall. So, I'll just give you a couple inside looks at the mechanics. I know this thing's pretty dusty, but you can see it. There's your lamp, your wiring back there. So, uh, now we'll go ahead and, uh, close the lamp base. And we'll put the cover back on, because if we don't, I'll basically be blinded by the light, because it's really bright. So, let me see if I can align this properly here and, uh, get the cover back on. It's kind of hard to do with one hand, because it takes, uh, a little bit of alignment to get the cover on properly, so there we go. 
cover just went back on. So we'll go ahead and put the screw back in now. And then I'll give you a demonstration of this projector. Now again, this is a part, uh, multiple part video. So not all of this demonstration is going to be in this one video. I'm just making part one right now. So let's go ahead and uh, get the screw back in. There we go. Screws back in. Probably wondering what this is back here. Well, this is a cassette deck, similar to the one on my stereo system over here. But this cassette deck's built into the projector because there's a speaker on this front grill right here. That's a speaker inside there. So we'll go ahead and uh, show you. We'll hit eject and open the cassette deck. And there's the inside of the cassette deck. If any of you uh, electronics enthusiasts wanna and mechanical people wanna get a look in there, you can see the gears and all the wiring and all the uh, things that make it tick. So we close the bay. And now let's give you an overview of the controls. You have a Duque Micromatic 2 logo. You have your volume control for the uh, built-in amplifier. So you would turn this on just by going like that and then your volume. You have your indicator light, that's a red light. You have for your film, you can have single or fast. Uh, basically by flipping the switch like that. And then you have reverse and advance for the film. And your, uh, I don't really know what that switch is for. I guess it's just for something with the audio. And here you have your main switch for the fan and the lamp. Just like that. And off. And you have a connection for an external remote and an external speaker. And the elevation button, when you push it down, it allows the feet that hold it up down here to be able to be elevated or lowered. I'll give you a demonstration of that right now. So that's pretty cool. Now enough of my blabbering. We'll go ahead and uh, plug her up here and I'll show you what it can do. Now I don't have any film strip for it right now, so I'll basically give you a basic uh, control overview. So we'll grab the power cord and uh, plug it into the uh, receptacle here. If I can do it. Kind of hard to see down here. There we go. All right, we're plugged in. And, like I said, if we turn that volume control again, uh, that little red light comes on, as you can see right there. You have the red light. That indicates that there's power going to the amplifier. And I'll give you a demonstration of the amplifier right now. I'm going to go ahead and take my cassette tape here, out of my cassette deck. And we'll go ahead and uh, stick it in the mechanism. And test the performance. So... All you gotta do is just put your cassette tape in there, like this, just like that. Your tape's in, close the door, and you press play. Turn the amplifier on, and it's playing, as you can hear by the speaker. Alright, enough of that, so... Go ahead and stop it, turn off the amplifier, and eject the tape, and set it off to the side. So, that was basically a demonstration of the amplifier, how it works in this projector. So now let's go ahead and actually turn the projector on. So, to start it up, you go ahead and flip the switch to turn the fan on. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to hear me talking uh, through this because the fan is quite loud, but let's go ahead and turn it on. And the fan is through the bottom. So the fan is down under there. And here we go. Turn on the lamp. Turn off our light. And you can clearly see it's projecting an image of nothing, basically. And you can kind of hear that there's gears inside there that are moving to allow the, uh, the little uh, film strip to be able to move inside there. Don't know how well you can see it. Yeah, you can see it down there. See the gear moving?
I'll give you a look at the cassette deck here. Very, very bright lamp in this thing. So, we'll go ahead and shut it down. Uh, we'll turn the lamp off. Here we go. Alright, so now uh, we'll just let that cool down a little bit and then we'll go ahead and turn off the fan. Alright, I guess we can go ahead and turn it off now, so here we go. So hopefully you were able to hear me through that, uh, fan is quite loud. So, uh, so basically what you would do when this thing was running is you would have your film, uh, would be displayed through the lens onto the wall or movie screen or whatever you have. And then you would be able to manually, uh, flip between slides by these controls. Or if you had the remote, which unfortunately I do not, you would be able to do it. So again, let's give you a look at the controls. So yeah, this unit is very nice for, uh, you know, nostalgic purposes if you ever have any old film strips or something. It would be good for playing that. And as well, it could be used as a cassette deck as well, because it has a built-in cassette deck and an amplifier and speaker. So we'll give you one last look at it running here. So here we go. Turn off the lights. Turn on the amplifier, don't really need it on, but I like it on. Go ahead and turn on the fan. Lamp. And there you go. I don't know if you can see the fan down there, but it is under there if you look. I don't know if my camera can pick it up. Yeah, you can kind of see the fan. Right there. We'll go ahead and shut her down now, so here we go. Turn off the lamp. And turn off the fan. Amplifier off. So there you go, that's going to be part one. In part two, we're going to be taking a look a little bit more in depth at the uh, mechanics and inner workings of this uh, 